हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस इन टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल दिस इज द पार्ट सेवन फॉर द इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्म्स इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग फील्ड विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर इंटरव्यूज एज वेल एज शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन इन एग्जाम्स If you have not watched my previous six parts, I have given the link in the description below. You can watch those videos also. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button below. Do follow me on Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. All the links are in the description. If you find this video helpful, please share this video and please press the like button. Supercharging. Supercharging is a process by which the density of the air that is required for combustion in an engine that is increased. and supercharging is used in those engines where the application is at high altitude that is the engine is used at higher altitude where the density of the air is less so in to increase the density of the air in order to perform efficient combustion in the si engine or ci engine that then supercharging is used in si engine supercharging is not preferred because it will promote detonation or knocking and supercharging is mainly used for ci engines turbocharging turbocharging is the similar process of supercharging but the difference in turbocharging in as uh, in turbocharging the compressor that is used to compress the incoming incoming air it is driven by the exhaust gas from the engine itself that is a turbine is used which is driven by the exhaust gases and this turbine it is coupled with the compressor which is used to compress the inlet air governor governor is a device which is con- used to control the mean speed of an engine and uh, governor it it take care of the variation in the load and it supply the working fluid accordingly as the load changes flywheel flywheel is a device which is used to control the fluctuation due to engine turning moment in each cycle of operation and flywheel it stores the energy and it releases so that the cycle because we know that in four stroke engine only in one part that is expansion part we get the useful work in three part the energy is not useful so the flywheel work is to store that useful part and then it controls the fluctuations so that we get uniform power output stoichiometric ratio stoichiometric ratio or the chemically correct ratio it is the minimum amount of air that is required to completely burn all of the fuel that is present per unit so i hope you have understood all of these five terms in the next part part 8 i would be explaining you some more five to six terms if you found this video helpful please share this video please press the like button and please subscribe my channel if you have not already subscribed and you can watch these videos appearing on your screen right now take care bye bye